Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is May 6, 2021, Thursday of the fifth week of Easter. The Gospel said, If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the Apostles and the Presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days, God made his choice among you that through my mouth, the Gentiles would hear the word of the Gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them. For by faith, he purified their hearts. Why, then, are you now putting God to the test? By placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear. On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, in the same way as they the whole assembly fell silent, and they listened. While Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders, God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this as is written. After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins, I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplishes these things. Known from of old, it is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. Responsorial Psalm Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation, day after day. Tell his glory among the nations. Among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, The Lord is King. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. Reflection In the first reading, the question of whether circumcision was a condition for salvation, Bring the reason for the Jerusalem Council, is addressed by St. Peter, head of the Apostolic College. According to the Apostles, the Holy Spirit is not exclusively reserved for Jewish Christians. In God, there is no distinction between believers. Everyone who professes faith in God is approved by Him and included in the redemptive mysteries of Christ. St. James says that the disciples who live by the values of the Gospel, regardless of their racial background will be saved. 
May our hearts be made pure by the love of God and may we be filled with the joy of being united as members of the mystical body of Christ. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.